So we're going to do a ETO update from 1.20 to 1.40. Um, as always, it's important that uh, ERA 1 is run first before we do any major installs to ETO. Um, I've already, already done that in my case, so I'm not going to do it now. Uh, the other thing we need to do is uh, run the ETO spawn selector again, which is the uh, choice 1 stock spawn mode. And I'm going to do that. Okay, so that's complete. So now we're ready to uh, proceed with the 1.40 upgrade. And I have it here. So we'll double click on that. Open it up. Now the first thing that we need to do is we need to run the uh, CFS3 ETO expansion 1.40 obsolete um, zip first. So I'll do that. And click run. And we'll just follow the prompts here. Now we need to change this uh, path to our x86. So we'll expand computer, expand C, expand program files x86, um, expand Microsoft games and highlight CFS3 ETO expansion. Click OK and start. Okay so the obsolete has been uh, run and uh, now it's time to run the actual uh, update which is here uh, update uh, revision 1.40 so I'll double click on that click run and this will just take a second to uh, unzip Okay, so we're ready to go. Uh, we'll click Next and uh, agree to the uh, terms and conditions. And once again, we need to change this path. And we'll do the Microsoft Games and make sure we highlight uh, ETO Expansion. Click OK and click Next and Start. Uh, it's just a little prompt saying that some files are right protected uh, and we want to click yes to this. Uh, this will take a minute to run so we'll touch base when it's complete. Okay so we've uh, that's completed and uh, the first thing we need to do is run the BDP zapper which is done. Uh, the next thing we need to do is uh, same process as updating uh, version 1.20 we need to go in and delete the view UI uh, file and uh, I'll do that now. So we'll go to uh, computer, to C, users. Uh, once again we need to have the uh, show hidden files, folders and drives enabled which I have here. And we'll go to uh, your username, in my case it's Jim, and app data, roaming, Microsoft, and CFS3 ETO expansion and we'll see the view UI. We'll delete that and then there's also one here um, in version 1.40 update we also need to delete the unlimited pilots as well. So we'll delete that, click yes and we're ready to run the game for the first time. Okay, so we're ready to uh, start the game for the first time. Uh, as always, after a major update or install like that, we have to run Arrow 1 first, so I'm going to do that now. Okay, so that looks good. Um, and I'll just test another error. I'll pick number five here. Okay. 
Okay, looks good. So that covers installing the uh, ETL version 1.40 update onto uh, Windows 7 64-bit operating system. I hope this works out for you okay and uh, have lots of fun with the game. Thanks.